Hey, Terry Motley here, and I'm Certified Health Coach, and want to share with you today uh, three, actually, several tips on how to choose a healthier and more nutritious breakfast cereal for you and your family. So, um, we typically don't eat a whole lot of cereal in our house. We tend to eat more of the yellow and green light breakfast foods, so more of the proteins and whole grains. Um, to really fuel our systems for uh, the best performance possible throughout the day. Um, but Dr. Sears talks about um, this 363 rule. And so to put that simply, we want to find cereals. And so this re revolves around looking at the nutrition facts label on the bot on the <laughs> boxes of whatever cereal you're considering for your family. But we want to find um, cereals that are made with a whole grain not enriched, not fortified, but the whole grain. That is very, very important um, to keep in mind. The second thing is we want to look for at least three grams of fiber and three grams of protein and less than six grams of sugar. So if you think about three protein, less than six sugar, and three fiber, three, six, three, that's an easy way to remember that. And then obviously looking for products that don't have any hydrogenated oils, no trans fats, that same thing, no high fructose corn syrup, um, no colorings, no artificial flavorings, those kinds of things are very, and preservatives. Those key things are really important to steer away from. So going from worst to best, we'll start with this pour box again of all, oops, oops, all berries. Oops, this shouldn't have even been produced. So this one, if you look at the label, it has less than one gram of fiber. It has whopping 14 grams of sugar and one gram of protein. So this one is definitely one that we wanna put back on the shelf, step away from, and stay healthy. Um, so avoid that one at all costs. The next one is um, these crispy rice, sorry, crispy rice cereal. Um, this one has zero grams of fiber, um, four grams of sugar, so it qualifies in that, and that is less than six grams of sugar, but then it has two grams of protein. So a slight improvement upon the others because this does not have any of the artificial colorings or flavorings either, but still not, not the best choice. And then the winner for today, and there are lots and lots of great cereals out there, so this is by no means to, uh, a sum of all the cereals that are out there because there's some great granolas that I really, really like. Um, Cheerios actually came in pretty well. This one has three grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and three grams of protein. So it's in that 363 rule where it's um, qualifies for us. And then the last one that I have on hand are Quaker Oats. And so the oats are great because these have four grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and five grams of protein. So you can see why um, we use a lot of oats. We eat them raw. We'll just put yogurt and berries on top of them. Yogurt um, with apples, whatever fruit you have on hand, bananas, apples, frozen berries, fresh berries, all of it is really good with a little bit of almond milk and even if you want just a little bit of yogurt in there too. That's one of those a great combination using mostly those yellow light and green light foods. So great, great way to go. So there you have it. Some simple tips on choosing great cereals.